Hi guys, Sandra here. I hope you all are doing well and I thought I would give you guys a tour of my kitchen and show you how I organize things. Now, just a disclaimer, things may not be organized perfectly. It's not an insta-perfect kind of kitchen. A lot of things have been upcycled, reused, but just some basic ideas and also what might work for me might not work for you. But if you could get a general idea and if it would help you in some way, that's the intention of this video. So follow along and I'll show you what my kitchen looks like. This here is an overview of my kitchen. I have cabinets on this side and then my fridge and my oven are here. And then this is where I have a glass cooktop, my dishwasher and cabinets all along. Over here are four drawers. These are the only drawers in my kitchen. This is how I keep the things in here. Let's make that look slightly better. But my scissors and lighters go here. So do my spoons, forks, butter knives, and the small spoons. This uh, sectional was built in the drawer, so we've been using it and it's been working really well for us. Then the drawer under it, I have placed a divider in here myself. And this is where I keep all my serving spoons. My knives and skewers go in here. All of my spatulas go in here. Measuring spoons and cheese cutters and all these medicine syringes. All of my tongs are in here along with the can opener, um, some measuring cups and a little knick-knack holder thingy where I have my scraper and some stuff. Over to the third drawer. In this one, I keep all my cooking spoons and I have made these dividers myself using balsa wood that I got from Bunnings and I cut it to size and placed it in these drawers just so that I could separate my cooking spoons. This one are all the oddly shaped ones go in here. All the ones that I use for curries are here. The spatulas are in here and again this little box for all the extra things I've kept in here just so that they stay in place. And in the final drawer is where I keep my aluminum foil, my cling wrap, brown paper, all of my sandwich bags, back clips, sandwich cutters. Right and next to this drawer, I have this cabinet. This is a corner cupboard and this is where I keep my crockery and my machinery, appliances and stuff. Right over here, I have all my platters. I keep most of them in their boxes, but still they are easily accessible. Whenever I need something, I will just pull it out, use it, and once I'm done, all I need to do is put it back inside a box. And I've had these for years and they've been working really well in this way. And then I have used this IKEA divider thingy to maximize the space. Um, here are some serving dishes with lids. I really like these one. I can serve food in them and then just put the lid on and put it in the fridge. They work really well. They're stackable and they all live here. Under this are some serving dishes and a little bowl um, that aren't used on an everyday basis, but they're still easily accessible. And that's my um, roti holder, another roti holder, which is like a tortilla box, but I use it to keep rotis. And then some bowls, which I need for when I am hosting and just some little bowls as well for knickknacks and when I'm hosting and then this is what we use on a daily basis these white bowls some of them are in the dishwasher they all stack here these little white plates from Ikea which we use on a daily basis are all stacked here and they are all easily accessible and these white plates again from Ikea are what we use on a daily basis easy to take out easy to put back on again I think this little shelf it's from Ikea or Kmart I'm not sure now and then under this, I have more plates. These aren't used on a daily basis, um, so but they're still easily accessible when I do need them. And here is where I keep my appliances, and there are some wine glasses at the back when I do need them for when I'm hosting. Then my new triplet is what I use often, so it is in perfect reaching distance, I guess. Also, all of my um, knickknacks that go with the blender. This isn't supposed to be here, but my daughter emptied the dishwasher, so yeah. There is my Magi Mix. Again, not used often, um, so, but it's still easy to pull out and accessible for when I need it. And that's the other jug that goes with it. So that's at the back. This is only used like once in a blue moon. What I do use often is my brown food processor because it's smaller, handy. And then again, I have this IKEA shelf. The rest of the accessories are in here. I can easily access this from here. And then I also use these baskets to store in all the accessories. They're not set up neatly or anything, but all the accessories for the food processor are in here so I don't have to hunt for them. And all the accessories for the Magi Mix are in here so I don't have to hunt for them. I actually used to have a million appliances, but I think a year or so ago I decluttered. And once I switched to the Magi Mix and the Braun food processor, I have gotten rid of almost all my other appliances. Moving on to the cabinet that is next in line. This is the one that is 
right under my sink and this is a bit of a layout for it i'll give you an overview so on one side i have this holder for all my plastic bags um i got this from a dollar store and then on this side i have another over the door organizer for some handy sprays and stuff and then my norvex cloth and my gloves stay here as well now here in a little tray i have all my dishwashing tablets my rinse aid and my dishwashing liquids just some extra it sits here neatly easily accessible over the back there i enjoy collecting glass jars so i have a collection going on so some of my extras are in there i also have a little caddy to keep in my sponge and my dishwashing wand which is in the sink right now and then i have these baskets for all the other things as you can see they're neatly labeled wipes all my extra sponges are in here all my microfiber cloths are in here that i use then under it i have used a file organizer from kmart to hold all my chopping boards and my dish drying mats and newspapers when i am cooking and i'm peeling and cutting my vegetables i keep my scraps on this and then i can easily wrap it up and compost it now this is a new system but i have a little bit of a cleaning bin over here this has my garbage bin actually so it has all my garbage back then over on this side are all my cleaning sprays i make my own now now let's move on to the next cabinet that's the one under my stove and this is where i keep my pots and pans and i find these over the door hanger shelves really convenient they use up the space so wisely and all my oils are here That's then in here i have tried to make use of the space in the most convenient way possible everything that's used on a daily basis is easily accessible uh, we do use our strainers quite a lot this little thingy hamad uses it to make boil his eggs on a daily basis so they stay here these are some of my most used pots and pans for making rice so they are also conveniently located here some mixing bowls and my pestle and mortar now this is a corner cabinet so it goes way in there so at the back i have kept things that i don't use very regularly i have again used a file organizer um Sorry, this is going to be hard to film, but this is where all my baking trays are. I don't use them very often, but if I do, I just need to sneak in here and pull it out. And then these are the serving pots uh, that I use when I have someone over I'm hosting. So again, slightly at the back, but still reachable. This is my everyday cooking pot, as you can see from the state of it. There's another one which is in the dishwasher right now. They stack right on top. Then in the section below it, let's start from the far end again. Um, my fry pans that are not used on a daily basis sit at the back. Sorry if it's not focusing. Pressure cooker that is not used on a daily basis is a bit away. And then this is the bigger pot that I also use when I'm entertaining or something. Not used on a daily basis but still conveniently located. I do keep this as the spot for my electric cooker which broke down a couple of days ago. So this pot is empty but this is where that sits. And then this is a plate holder again from a dollar store it's supposed to be um, used for keeping your plates to dry them but i use it as a lid organizer then over on this side is a frying pan organizer that i got from aldi on specials all my fry pans stay here and next to it i have this narrow cupboard and this is how i use it this bathroom shelves from kmart fit perfectly in here and this is where i store my onions potatoes and my garlic it looks a little sad in here because i've run out of groceries but this is what works for me and then behind it are the extra oils when i need to fill up i can just take the oil from here and fill it up and put it in here for use this way i have used a narrow space to its maximum capacity next to the stove and the fridge is my pantry um this cabinet that i use as a pantry basically this is what it looks like up on top i have my baking supplies both of those so those are the tools and stuff and those are the ingredients i don't bake too often now so they are at the top but still in a basket anytime i need something i'll just pull it down and have access to everything second shelf i have all my dry pantry items labeled and easy to access this pantry is quite deep but i don't like having things behind each other so this is how i have made use of the space and just added a lazy susan for some spices and then this is the next shelf I have all my sauces and condiments, all the extra ones in here. Coconut water, pancake shake used in IKEA level to keep things here and a lazy Susan for things that I do use regularly. So they are here for me when I need. 
underneath it again i have organized everything in these plastic boxes that i got from reject shop it just helps me because this pantry is too deep and i can't reach things at the back so that they don't get lost i can just pull out these boxes and see what's inside they are all labeled and everything is in categories so i can find them easily these are all the kids snacks and all of my extra spices within the box i have another basket to keep all the spices these are the drinks and the tea and coffee that's rice and that is my extra lentils box now moving on to the cabinet that is above the fridge you can see the up top of the fridge is a bit messy but i thought i wouldn't clean it and let you guys see it in all its messy glory but this cabinet it's a bit too high for me to reach but still this is where i keep my breakfast and smoothie supplies coconut cranberries pita seeds chia seeds more seeds at the back bicarb vinegar and all these other things are on a lazy susan because it, as you can tell i'm literally reaching up high to reach it so i just wanted to be able to access this if i didn't have a lazy susan i would never have been able to see what's oven in the and then our deep drawer where i keep all my containers um as you can see i have kept them all in here with their lids on so i don't have to hunt for lids anytime i need a container just pull it out put it back works well for us and this here is where we have our microwave and underneath it was this large cabinet which is our broom bin closet our bins in here and there's a power point behind over there so i can easily charge my dyson in here and i keep my mop and it works out now let's quite check well. out the cabinets that are above the stove so starting from the corner one this is where i keep my lentils and stuff they're all in these containers that i got ages ago from a dollar store and over there are all my shan masalas which stay there and every time i need them i have to get a step stool to get to them and then right next to it is another spice closet as you can see we have a lot of spices <laughs> all of these are mayo jars that i have recycled um i painted their lids quite a few years ago now three or four years ago there are some scratches on the lids but they've held up well the labels are from kmart and so is the chalk marker i just refilled them some sauces salt more salt and stuff in here also just to make it look pretty i have just put some craft paper at the back nobody sees it but every time i open this closet i get a nice smile on my face because everything looks so pretty and then next to it is another spice cabinet surprise surprise <laughs> so more spices here and at the back there's also some craft paper at the back to make it look pretty more spices which need refilling and two just separate them and level them up i have made up this divider on my own which is actually made of packing material if you can see and also the mess behind but yeah that's the packing material i cut it to size here and i did the same thing over here as well this is also packaging material that came with my fridge or washing machine i guess and then i just used it as a lemon to give some height and that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed that tour and i hope you got some ideas to implement in your own space this is what works for me um, some of these systems they have evolved some of these systems i've had for a while it's basically an ever-changing game and it changes according to the needs of our family and how things change so hope you enjoyed watching that if you did do like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye